Copy's boy and business partner, Jacob Olale Kongponli, has been sentenced to eight years in prison by a U.S. court. The former Instagram celebrity, popularly known as Mr. Woodbury, has also been forced to forfeit all his assets, ranging from his fleet of luxurious cars, expensive jewelries, and his major assets in bitcoins. After serving his time, the 32-year-old convict will be deported back to his fatherland to face the reality of a renewed hope government. Not too long ago, Mr. Woodbury was quite the sensation on social media, courtesy of the flamboyant and luxurious lifestyle he enjoyed and flaunted with his close friend, Hush Poppy. Fans would peek at his Instagram page and scream, My brother, in this life, have money. Suddenly, in June 2020, the tune changed to, My brother, in this life, have legit money. After the fraud star was arrested alongside Hush Puppy in Dubai for multiple fraud charges in the US. After three years of back and forth and insisting that he is innocent, Mr. Woodbury finally admitted to his crime and is now paying dearly for it by losing everything. It looks like the Dubai big boy who many hustling Nigerians once regarded as a hero is now back to zero. Some people who live under the rock might ask, who is Mr. Woodbury? What was his flamboyant lifestyle like before his shocking arrest? Hello guys, it's t here for African Glitz. Once upon a time, Dubai's big boy, Jacob Olale Konponli, popularly known as Mr. Woodbury and his close pal, Hush Puppy, prided themselves as the richest Nigerian businessmen in Dubai. While in reality, they were top scammers. They hid their real source of wealth and used social media to oppress the poor, middle class and every hustling Nigerian both home and abroad. On his Instagram page alone, his bio sports a motivational quote that reads, Pray, hope and don't worry, do your thing. And just as he wrote, Mr. Woodbury used social media to do his thing by showing off the kind of lifestyle that most Africans could only dream of. While cutting the attention of Nigerian celebrities, the Instagram celebrity was never to be caught on fresh and was known for rocking and flaunting expensive designer wear from top to bottom. For someone who is also close friends with Hush Puppy, it is no surprise that Mr. Woodbury was also fond of flaunting his expensive jewelry and exotic cars. In March of 2020, the man boasted of acquiring a luxurious fleet of cars, including the twin collection of a 2019 Lamborghini Urus selling at over 200,000 US dollars and the 2019 Rolls Royce Black Badge Dawn. Many were stunned by this extravaganza that even the famous Omobaba Olowo Davido was super impressed and could only applaud his taste in automobiles and the thousands of dollars spent on the cars. On one occasion of such display of wealth, the Afrobeat singer commented, Vex! And the exclamation mark spoke louder than his comment. Of course, another way of saying, hustle hard. At the time the con man was showing off his illicit wealth to his numerous Instagram followers, the majority had no idea his luxurious lifestyle was funded by cybercrime until June 10, 2020, when he was not only disgraced but also arrested alongside his mentor, Hush Puppy, by the Dubai police in a joint operation with Interpol. Following his extradition to the US on July 2, 2022, Mr. Woodbury was immediately charged with conspiracy to commit wire fraud and money laundering at the United States District Court in Illinois. According to the FBI, the fraud star also known by his alias Mark Kane runs a business email compromise BEC scheme and used it to defraud at least seven American companies of over 8 million US dollars. The Dubai big boy would pose as a legitimate businessman and contact potential victims, offering them investment opportunities. Once the victims agreed to invest, Mr. Woodbury would disappear with their money. In the complaint filed by the FBI against the Dubai big boy regarding his criminal activities, he used Bitcoin to hide stolen funds from his alleged criminal activities online. Initially, the Instagram celebrity went shopping for the best lawyer in Chicago and refused to plead guilty to the charges against him. However, Mr. Woodbury must have realized the US is not like Nigeria after his bestie, Hush Puppy, was sentenced to 11 years in prison in November of 2022. Fast forward to April 6, 2023, when the famous conman finally pleads guilty to count one of the indictments. According to his plea agreement, the 32-year-old must pay back the $8 million he fraudulently received from the seven companies he scammed. Defendant understands that by pleading guilty, it will subject to forfeiture to the United States all right title. 
and interest that he has in any property constituting or derived from proceeds obtained, directly or indirectly, as a result of the offence. Stated the document containing a signed plea declaration. As stated in his plea agreement, Mr. Woodbury agreed to forfeit $8 million in proceeds of wire fraud and waived his rights to the luxury cars and designer watches he had stashed in Dubai. The high-end luxury cars include Rolls-Royce Cullinan with vehicle number J9153, Lamborghini Urus N4973 and Mercedes-Benz G-Class G68816. Other items seized are 4 Rolex watches, 1 Patek Philippe watch, 3 gold and diamond studded earrings, 6 gold neck chains, 5 gold bracelets and 2 gold bracelet keys, 1 gold and diamond studded necklace, 1 small gold nugget, about 1,835 in Emirati's dirhams and approximately $15.45 in South African rands. The Dubai big boy also forfeited 151.8 Bitcoin to the American government. At the time of the forfeiture, Bitcoin was trading at $39,457, bringing the whole value to $6 million. While awaiting sentencing, Mr. Woodbury, who fell ill after imprisonment for nine days, tried to beg the US government to temper justice with mercy. Prior, the federal prosecutors had recommended a jail term of 14 years to the fraudster. However, his lawyer claimed that he has positively utilized the time spent in prison to study the rudiments of money management and even find job openings on the internet. While incarcerated, he used his time well. He has earned several certificates of completion from the MCC, including world government, managing credits wisely, and where to locate job openings. The lawyer noted in a memorandum sent to the court, equally, Mr. Woodbury's lawyer argued that his life dramatically changed since June 2020 after he was arrested and he now enjoys a cordial relationship with his mother and siblings. Further in his objections to the sentencing recommendation, the lawyer claimed Mr. Woodbury gave full confessions and was truthful during his interview with federal agents investigating the matter, offering over 5 million good reasons for the court to reduce his sentencing. Well. The US courts have considered all of his pleas and on July 11, 2023, the Nigerian convict was sentenced to 8 years and 3 months in prison, after which Mr. Woodbury was transferred to the Federal Correctional Institution in Danbury, Connecticut, where his family members, friends, and American fiancé would be allowed to visit him. In addition to his prison sentence, the Instagram celebrity will also be deported to Nigeria after he completes his sentence. Nigerians, as expected, have been reacting to news of Woodbury's sentencing. Reacting, one social media user wrote, <laughs> They didn't get everything, Sha. He has statues everywhere. He'll be out half of the time with good behavior and carry on in Ninja. Another wrote, This great news should be published as front page in all our national newspapers to enlighten the youths that at the end, crime does not pay and that hard work ensures success and everlasting inner happiness and peace of mind. One commented, This idiot was leaving La Vida Loca in Dubai from the tears of his victims, some of whom committed suicide after losing their life pensions. In their heydays, our youths bombarded their grand profiles and begging for their anointing. Women of easy virtues and potential good diggers were doing 100 days of fasting and prayer just to be noticed by these criminals. Here today, gone forever. It's a huge lesson for our youths that only honest work would guarantee peace of mind and long-lasting riches. Another wrote on Instagram, <laughs> EFCC will pick him up immediately in lands Nigeria airport to collect their own share. One advised, Fraud does not pay kids. Tell us guys, what do you think about the downfall of Mr. Woodbury and his friend Hush Puppy? Do you think he will continue with the criminal life in Nigeria after his release? Do you agree with the social media user that Mr. Woodbury did not forfeit all his assets to the US government and still has some unknown statues? Finally, do you think deportation would be Mr. Woodbury's worst nightmare? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.